Another question to ask to make sure that your listing process is, is successful is how do I prepare my pets and my children for the sale of our home? This is called ease of showing. Keep in mind that every time you turn down a listing or refuse a listing because it's not convenient for you, there's a very good chance that the realtor and their client may not book another showing for, for a plethora of reasons. They may be needing to purchase a house by the end of the day. They may not come back to that area. So, they're, so it's very important to make sure that you're ready for the whole process. As far as your pets go, I'm a pet owner. I own two dogs and a cat. So there's a few things I'd have to do to make sure that our home is ready to have people coming through. For a larger breed of dog, you may want to consider having a family member or a kennel take care of your pet for the duration of your listing process. I know that we would have to do that with our larger breed of dog. The second is, for any pets that are smaller, such as smaller dogs, you might want to put them in a small kennel in the home in the basement or in a garage for the duration of the showing. Many people don't take well the pets jumping up on them and they may be quickly wanting to leave the home instead of spending time in the home. For smaller breeds of, of animals like cats, most cats you do find roaming around the house or hiding because they're scared of people coming through their home. Just keep in mind it's very important to try and eliminate any kind of sign of pets, whether it's cat hair, whether it's you know messy food on the floor or bowls sitting around. Try and pick those up and put those away for showings if possible. It's also very important to make sure your children are ready for showing of the home. Make sure that they're aware what's going on. What are you actually doing when you sell your home? You're moving to a new home. It's important at a certain age to make your children aware of what's going on so they don't feel like people are coming into their home and intruding. Make it fun. Explain to them that it's going to be an adventure. So when preparing your pets and your children, just make sure that they're as familiar with the process they can be and that you're also ready to have people come into your home on sometimes a short notice period. Thanks for listening.